Lucy with Ross Monster, and today I want to show you around our latest Sprinter 170 4x4 that we just wrapped up. Before we step inside, I'll talk about a few exterior highlights of this vehicle. So to start out, we have a Sprinter 2500 4x4 rip kit. Uh, we also have upgraded wheels and tires, so we have the new Owl Vans wheel, which is going to have a quick deflate valve so you can quickly air up or down your tires depending on what you need to do in that moment. Moving up from there, we have an Illuminous double loop roof rack. On top of that, we have a Tiny Watts 500 watt um, solar, solar deck, so you can walk on that if you want to. Also at this sliding door, you'll see that we have bug screens, and those are gonna be from RB Components, and we have some at the rear doors as well, so let's go head out to the rear now. All the way in the rear of the vehicle here, we have an Illuminous ladder to get up to that double loop roof rack. We also have an Alavan Sherpa cargo carrier. And then you also notice at the rear of the van here, we have some auxiliary solar ports so you can um, add on to their solar array that they have up top. Let's check out the inside. Welcome inside. Before we go into the specific components of the vehicle, I'll talk about some design highlights as well as the overall layout. So starting all the way up top, we have a pine tongue and groove um, ceiling that's going to be stained with a clear coat finish. Moving down from there, our wall panels are going to be painted white. We have birch cabinetry, so we have slab door uppers. We also have some cubbies. Um, these are going to be ideal for his sound bar speaker here that can also be mounted in the back over the bed, depending on where he wants to listen to music. We have a custom leather upholstered dinette here in the front. And then all the way on the floor, we have a vinyl slate um, flooring. So when it comes to layout, as I mentioned, we have this dinette up front. We have our galley right here as you move down the passenger side. Behind the galley, we have our wet bath. Um, so we have a little hatch so that you have access to our nature's head composting toilet, which is gonna be stored in here. And then we have a closet and then all the way in the rear, we have our fixed bed. So I'm gonna start in the front and we'll work our way back. All the way in the front of the vehicle here, we have our dinette. Um, so a few nice features about this dinette, we have a birch table that's gonna be on a lagoon mount so it can kind of shift wherever you need it to be. We also have a Sierra Lawrence T-Vent window on both sides here. So um, you can kind of enjoy the view wherever you're at. On this forward most bench seat, we have a nice drawer. So big bin storage under there. And then on this rear wood one, we have storage for our nature's head composting toilet that I'll show you how to access from the shower. Lastly, this dinette converts into a little day bed. This backrest is gonna be removable. So once you put the center cushion in place and remove this table, you have a nice um, additional sleeping area there. Moving back from there, we have our wet bath. This um, dual purpose was really important in this vehicle. So you'll notice that this um, shower stall is also gonna purpose as a great storage solution. Um, so we have these removable teak shelves in here so that when you want to store things, you can have those. When you want to use it as a shower, you can just take these out and use it as a shower. Additionally, this shower stall is going to have a Nautilus self-cleaning retractable shower door, so that'll keep all the water inside and it squeegees itself as it closes. Um, so that's a nice feature there. Let's go all the way to the bottom and I'll show you how you can access that nature's head composting toilet. So without all the shelves in here, you can see how nice and roomy this bathroom is. Um, down here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how we can access our nature's head composting toilet. So this is really important. Vans are obviously a small space. So solutions like this really allow you to make the most of this small space that you're working with. So we can just open up this hatch door. Our nature's head composting toilet is on a drawer side, a 500 pound locking side, it can come out, you can use it. And then when it's not in use, you can obviously pop it right back away, close that hatch door. It's nice and sealed. So you don't have to worry about any water getting in there. And that's a really nice dual purpose bathroom, storage, and shower stall. Moving back from there over onto the passenger side, we have our galley. So we have butcher block countertops throughout this galley. We also have a 20 inch flip up countertop extension. We have a two burner and Pava induction cooktop. And behind that we have a 15 by 20 Rivati workstation sink with a cutting board insert. Underneath this sink, we have a seven gallon removable gray water tank. And then in front of that, we have a Cruise 200 isotherm fridge and freezer. So this is always a nice option when you wanna take uh, more food out on the road because your freezer is truly separate from your fridge and you have a lot more space to work with. Above our galley, we have some uppers. So all of these are gonna have gas struts for assisted opening and closing and have our V latches to ensure that everything's staying where it needs to be while you're in transit. 
Another nice feature of this van is um, the kind of custom switch panel solution that we have here. So they didn't want to overtly see all of their control panels. So we have this acrylic smoke screen here in the front of the um, cabinet. So you can open that up and then we have our controller for our electric floor heat. We have our Rix and Hydronic heat and hot water system. And then we have the switches for all of the other systems within the vehicle. And it's all nice and tidy put away, out of sight, out of mind, but you can still kind of see what's on just so that you don't forget about something and drain your batteries. Moving on to the driver's side, we have a nice little storage solution back here. So kind of closing out the galley area first, we have a slide out pantry. Um, so great place to store all of those kitchen essentials. On top of that, we have a closet storage. So this is gonna have adjustable shelves in it. And we also have storage for our Starlink so that they can stay connected while out on the road. Working rearward of there, we have our fixed bed all the way in the rear. So we're going to have flare space on both sides. Those bump outs are custom upholstered, so they go with the design of this vehicle. We also have touch lights in those bump outs, so kind of can act as a nice reading light and just make this a little bit of a more inviting space back here. Lastly, as we move over to the driver's side, we have another little area where we can put that speaker so you can kind of optimize uh, where you're listening to music or whatever you're listening to in the van. Before we head to the back of the vehicle, I'll talk about ventilation. So all the way back here at the fixed bed, we have a half slide on both sides so you can get a nice cross breeze. In the galley here, we have a fixed pane so you can look out as you're cooking. And then in the front of the vehicle, we have those Sierra Lawrence T-Vent windows that again have the awnings on the bottom so that you can get a cross breeze while you're sitting at the dinette. Additionally, we have a max air fan that's going to be over our bathroom and our galley. And then all the way in the rear here, we have a 12 volt pneumatic AC system. So that'll keep this rig nice and cool in the summer months. And then, as I mentioned, we have the heated electric floors and the Rix and hydronic heat and hot water system that will service both our sink, our indoor shower, and keep this vehicle four season capable in the winter months. Now let's check out the rear. In the rear of the vehicle here, we have our garage storage. So everything back here is going to be coated in black hex ply, so it's nice and durable. Starting in the center, we have a gear tray. This is going to be on 500 pound locking slides. It can come out, you can load up, and then throw it back in. You can also affix L-Track to these or bike mounts, whatever, whatever suits your type of adventure. We also have a strip of lighting back here so that you can load and unload at night. We have our outdoor shower here on the driver's side, and then we have our plumbing and our power cabinets. So starting on the driver's side, we have our plumbing cabinet. This is gonna have a 40 gallon freshwater tank, and it's also going to house our two stage water filtration system. Moving over to the passenger side, we have our power system. So in there we have 800 amp hours of lithium battery bank. We have a 3000 watt inverter. And then as I mentioned, we have that tiny watts solar array up top. Um, so that's gonna be 500 watts. And then we also have the ports for the auxiliary solar on the side of the vehicle. That wraps up this van tour. I'm Lucy with Ross Monster. Thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a tour. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.